Hi guys, in this video we will be discussing sequences and series, particularly um, arithmetic sequence and series. So, hati natin yung dalawang, uh, I mean, hati natin sa dalawang parts itong video. So, this first video is about arithmetic series and sequence. And then, yung second video would be um, geometric sequences and series. Okay. So, let us define first what is a sequence. A sequence is a list of numbers or objects in a special order. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay listahan ng mga numero in mathematics. Okay? So, yung tawag sa mga numbers na nasa loob ng sequence, they are called terms. But in some references or books, they are also called elements. So, may mga reference, may mga books tayo na ang, tinata ang tawag sa mga numbers na nasa loob ng sequence ay elements. But in this case, ang tatawagin natin silang terms. Okay? So, there are two types of sequence. The first one is finite sequences. And then, the second one is infinite sequences. So, dalawa yung types nito, guys, ng um, sequences. So, may tinatawag tayong finite at infinite. Ngayon, kailan natin nasasabi na finite siya? Kailan siya infinite sequence? Pagka nakakita kayo ng ellipsis doon sa sequences, like the three dots here, yan, yan yung tinatawag nating ellipsis. So, ang ibig sabihin yan, it will, it will proceed to infinity. Ibig sabihin, wala nang katapusan yan. Kaya, ang tawag sa kanya, infinite sequence. Unlike the finite sequence na may specific number lang siya of terms. Okay? So, wala siyang ellipsis. So, ibig sabihin, yung given dito, hanggang 7, hanggang 7 lang. Dito, hanggang 10, hanggang 10 lang. Wala na siyang karugtong. Ito, hanggang 17, 17 lang. So, ang tawag dyan, kapag ka natatapos or um, bilang lang yung numbers or terms sa loob ng sequence, that is called finite sequence. Okay? Now, let us define what is a series. A series is the sum of the sequence. So, ibig sabihin nito guys, pag in natin yung sequence, ang tawag doon ay series. Ang tatandaan yung keyword when it comes to series is the word sum. Okay? So, halimbawa, um, kung ang tawag dito guys sa numbers na to ay a sub 1, ibig sabihin ng a sub 1 is the first term, a sub 2 is the second term, a sub 3 is the third term, a sub 4 is the fourth term. When we identify a sub 4, ang magiging sagot natin, if this is the given sequence, ang a sub 4 is 4. That's it. Ibig sabihin kasi ng a sub 4 is the fourth term. Pero pag sinabing, find the a sub 4, ibig sabihin yan guys, series, or ang ibig sabihin yan is the sum of the first four terms. So, ibig sabihin yan, a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus a sub 4. Sum of the four terms. So, ibig sabihin, inad tong a sub 1 hanggang a sub 4, that's why ang a sub 4 is equal to 10. Ibig sabihin na yan, guys, is the sum of the four first four terms. Okay? Now, let us proceed with the identifying the terms inside, um, I mean, given the general or nth term of the sequence. So, for example, binigay na yung general term or nth term or formula ng sequence and then you have to identify the terms. So, in this case, pinapa-identify sa atin yung first three terms. So, pag sinabing first three terms, these are the a sub 1, a sub 2, tsaka a sub 3. Diba? Kasi sabi ko sa inyo earlier, a sub 1 stands for the first term, a sub 2 stands for the second term, a sub 3 stands for the third term. So, ang pinapahanap sa atin dito, first three terms, not the sum. Okay? Pag sinabing sum, a sub 3 yun. Pero sabi dyan, wala naman sinabing sum, ang sabi lang dyan, first three terms. So, that is a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3. Okay? So, what will you do is um, you will um, replace all the values of n with 1, 2, and 3. So, dito, ito yung given natin, a sub n is equal to 3n plus 1. So, what will you do is para mahanap yung first term, ire-replace nyo lahat ng values ng n ng 1. So, magiging a sub 1 is equal to 3 times 1 plus 1. Yan, pinagdatan ko yung n ng 1. Para naman mahanap yung second term, we will find a sub 2. So, all n will be replaced by 2. So, magiging 3 times 2 plus 1. And then, a sub 3 will be third term. So, all n will be replaced by 3. So, 3 times 3 plus 1. Okay? And then, you can um, evaluate this manually or you can always use your calculator. So, manually, this will give us 3 times 1, that is 3, plus 1, 4. Okay? 3 times 2, 6, plus 1, so 7. And then, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1, 10. So, ang magiging final answer natin, the first three terms of this general term is 4, 7, 10. Ayan. So, that's... 
these are our final answer. So, if you want to use your calculator, you can always use. So, 3 times 1 plus 1, ayan, same answer, 1. I mean, 4. Okay? So, papalit-palitan nyo lang ito nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, 7. Ito naman, papalitan ko ng 3. So, 10. So, 4, 7, 10. Ibig sabihin, ito yung first term or A sub 1. Ito yung second term. Ito yung third term, A sub 3. Okay? So, 4, 7, 10. Okay, let's have um, number 2. So, A sub 1 is equal to 2 raised to 1 minus 1. And then, A sub 2 is equal to 2 raised to 2 minus 1. And then, A sub 3. So, we will replace the exponent n with 3 para mahanap yung third term. So, 2 raised to 3 minus 1. Basically, guys, papalitan nyo lang yung mga n ng 1, 2, 3. Depende yun sa hinihingi sa inyo, ha? In this case, kasi, ang pinapahanap, first 3 terms. So, what if ang pinahanap sa inyo ay um, 6 term? Okay? So, pagka 6 term, ibig sabihin nun, A sub 6. So, ibig sabihin, you will replace all the values of n with 6. Ganun lang siya. In this case, ang pinapahanap sa atin ay first three terms. That's why we are replacing the values of n with 1, 2, 3. Kasi first three terms daw eh. Okay? So, you will use your calculator. 2 raised to 1. Ayan, minus 1. So, the first number is 1. And then, papalitan lang natin yun. Gagawin natin siyang 2. Okay? And then, 3 ang magiging sagot. And then, the last one would be, papalitan naman natin siya ng 3. So, the answer is 7. Okay, so 7. So, the final answer is 1, 3, 7. So, these are our final answer. Okay, let's have number 3. A sub n is equal to n squared minus 3n plus 5. So, again, A sub 1, we will replace all the values of n by 1 to get the first term, which is A sub 1. So, magiging 1 squared minus 3 times 1 plus 5. Ayan. The next one would be A sub 2. So, magiging 2 raised to 2 minus 3 times 2 plus 5. And then the last one is a sub 3, so 3 raised to 2, minus 3 times 3 plus 5. Basically guys, the rest kakapi nyo lang, you just replace the value of n. And then you always put parentheses doon sa mga values na kailangan nyo i-replace, especially when it has um, exponent n, may katabi siyang number. Okay? Kasi mas maganda na lagyan ng parentheses para alam ni calcu nyo yung gagawin niya. Okay? So 1 squared minus 3 times 1 plus 5. Ayan, so the first number is 3. Ang maganda sa calcu guys, you will just replace the number. E-edit, edit nyo na lang yan. Kasi, papalitan nyo lang. Depende dun sa hinihinging pang ilang term. So, ito, pang, pangalawang term na. Kaya, sub 2 na tayo. A sub 2. So, 3 pa rin. And then, the last one is, we will replace this by 3 to get the value of the third term. Ayan, to get the third term. So, 5. Okay? So, the final answer, A sub 1 is 3. A sub 2 is 3. And the third term, or A sub 3 is 5. So, this our... This our final answer. Okay? Let's have the number 4 or fourth example. So, isa lang yung value ng n dyan. So, a sub 1 is equal to 1 minus 4 times 1. And then, a sub 2 is equal to 1 minus 4 times 2. And then, a sub 3 is equal to 1 minus 4 times 3. Okay? So, 1 minus 4. Ito guys, negative 4. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. And then, 1 minus ito magiging negative 8. So, 1 minus 8 is negative 7. Ito magiging negative 12. So, 1 minus, neg, 1 minus 12 is negative 11. Or, you can always use your calculator by just copying whatever is written. So, 4. Ayan. Negative 3. And then, you will replace lang itong mga values na to. So, negative 7. Ito negative. Ayan. Negative 11. So, our answer here is negative 3, negative 7, negative 11. So, our final answers are negative 3, negative 7, negative 11. Okay, so that is how you get the terms if the given is the general term. You will just replace all the values of n kung ano yung hinihingi. Okay, so yeah, let us have naman yung series. So yung series guys, um, evaluate the series or sigma notation. So yung letter E na yan is a Greek symbol which means sigma or summation. So ang ibig sabihin niyan is just addition. Kaya nga siya tinawag na series. Kasi di ba pag sinabi natin series, sum of the sequence. Okay? So, dito, meron tayong tinatawag na lower limit and the upper limit. So, what will you do is you will replace the values of letter I dun sa lower hanggang makarating ka dun sa upper limit. In this case, same lang yung ating lower and upper limit. So, what will you do is you will replace the variable I with the lower limit 4. So, magiging 2 times 4. Ayan, papalita ko tong I. Minus 5. Okay? So, this is the lower limit. But since we have the same lower and upper limit, Yan lang yung kukunin natin sagot, okay? So, 2 times 4 minus 5. This one is 8. 
So 8 minus 5, the answer would be 3. So our final answer in here is 3. Again, you can always use your calculator. 2 times 4 minus 5. So the answer would be the same, 3. Okay? Now let's have this one, yung walang, yung hindi magkaparehas ang lower tsaka upper limit. So in this case, ang lower limit ay 2, ang upper limit ay 4. Ang ibig sabihin lang yan guys is you will use the variable, I mean you will use the number um, 2, lower limit, 3 hanggang 4, dun sa upper limit na 4. So ibig sabihin, lahat ng values ng i ay papalitan natin ng 2, 3, tapos 4. So unahin muna natin yung 2 na value. So, itong 5 na to, copy, papalitan ko yung i ng 2. So, magiging 2 squared, parenthesis, okay? So, ito yung una, ayan, plus, kasi nga summation to guys, so plus, okay, so plus, ito pa rin, siya pa rin, but yung i will be replaced na by 3, ayan, okay, plus, so ganun pa rin, but then, yung letter i natin, marireplace na siya by 4. So, as you can see, guys, yung i natin nag-iba siya. Nung una, ito yung i na 2, ito yung i na 3, and then ito yung i na 4. Basta you will always start from the lower limit hanggang makarating kayo dun sa upper limit. Okay? And then, just add the um, number. So, pwedeng isa-isahin nyo to. Like ito, multiply nyo. 2 raised to 2 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Plus, ito naman, 3 squared is 9. 9 times 5 is 45. And then, ito, 4 squared is 16. And then, 16 times 5 is um, 80. Okay? And then, add nyo siya. Okay? So, add natin yan. So, 20 plus 45 plus 80. So, the answer is 145. Or, you can always direct your answer to the cal calculator. So, ibig sabihin guys, input nyo na siya as is. Yung pagkakasulat nyo. Okay? So, yung pagkakasulat nyo sa inyong calcu, ganyan. Ayan. Dere-derecho. So, 5 times 3 squared. That's why, mas preferred ko na maggamit ng calcu kapag ganito. <clears throat> Okay, so we will get the same answer, same answer, 145. Okay, let's have the next example. So, ang lower limit ay 1, ang upper limit ay 3. Okay, so ang i natin will be i, I mean 1, 2, and 3. So, yung mga i natin, mapapalitan muna ng 1, and then 2, and then 3. Okay, so this one would be 6 over 1, kasi nandito yung i sa ilalim, plus 6 over 2, plus 6 over 3. Okay, so 6 over 1 is 6, plus 6 over 2 is 3. 6 over 3 is 2. And then get the sum. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. So the final answer is 11. Okay? Now, if your calculus is this, you, guys, kapag ganito, you always use this fraction, not the division sign, but the fraction. Especially to those who have um, calculators with no fraction function, what will you do is hanapin nyo yung function na ABC. Nandito rin yan, sa side na yan. Okay? So, pindutin nyo lang yun. So, 6 over 1. Ayan, plus 6, tapos pindutin yung ABC over 2, plus, okay, 6 over 3, tapos, um, equals nyo lang, ay sorry, nagsintak siya, ayan, kasi wala yung 3, so 11, okay? Let's have the fourth example, so ang I natin dito, from starting from the lower limit, 3, so 3, and then the next one would be 4, hanggang 4 lang, so we have two values of I. So, palitan ko lang yung i dito. So, 4 times 3 plus 1. Yan yung una. Plus, yung pangalawa naman na i is 4. So, 4 times 4 plus 1. So, basically, yan yun. Ito rin yun. Pinalitan lang natin yung i ng 3 tsaka ng 4. Okay? So, para mas madali, i-calcure nyo na lang. Kung ayaw nyo ng mga arithmetic na yan, guys, ibig sabihin kung hindi kayo, um, ayaw nyo ng mga negative positive na yan, kung paano nag-multiply, ganyan, you use your calculator. Okay? So, 30. So, the answer is 30. Okay, let us have the last example. So, i is 1 to 5. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong limang values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ayan. So, 2 raised to 1 plus 2 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to 3 plus 2 raised to 4 plus 2 raised to 5. Ayan siya, guys. ba? Kasi yung i nasa, yung, nasa exponent niya. So, mano-mano na lang natin to. 2 raised to 1 is 2. 2 raised to 2 is 4. This one, 8. 8 raised to, I mean, 2 raised to 4 is 16. 16 raised, I mean, 2 raised to 5 is um, 32. Okay? So, 32. And then, add natin. Pwedeng, ito, i-calcule nyo na. So, calcule na natin. Ayan. Para mas madali. 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32. So, 62. Okay? But, you can always use your calculator, guys. So, andito lang yan. 
So, 2 raised to 1, ito siya. Ayan, 2 raised to 1. Yung mga calcio na walang fraction, ang raised nyo, guys, ay pagkakasyo na walang fraction, like this one. Yung mga single liner, ang magiging itsura nyan sa calcio nyo would be like this. 2 raised to 1, plus 2 raised to 2. Ganyan siya, guys. Diba? Ito yung exponent nyo. Okay? Plus 2 raised to 3, plus 2 raised to 4, plus 2 raised to 5. Sometimes, kapag ka meron tayo yung calcio naman na um, sharp, okay? Instead of have um, pressing this, um, ano ba to? Pressing this um, button, ang ipipress nyo guys, yung y raised to x or x raised to y, I don't know. Basta kung sharp yung inyong calcio. Pero kung kaso na single line, ito ang magiging exponent ninyo. Okay? Now, let us have the arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. So, dito sa video na to, ang i-discuss muna natin is the arithmetic sequence. Okay? So, i-discuss ko muna sa inyo, ano ba ang kaibahan ng arithmetic sequence at saka ng geometric sequence. Madali nyo makikita guys, kung ano ang difference ng arithmetic at saka ng geometric by just looking at the um, set of numbers or list of numbers. So, ang gagawin nyo, i-observe nyo yung numbers. <clears throat> Tapos, tignan nyo kung paano na o-obtain yung mga succeeding terms. If the numbers in the sequence is being obtained by, by adding the common difference, then that is arithmetic sequence. Halimbawa, ito. Yung 2, it became 4. Sunod ng 4, 6, 8, naging 10, 12, 14. So, ang magiging sure tayo na ang kasunod nito ay 16. Kasi, nag-aano nag siya, nag increase siya by 2. Kaya, ang tawag dun guys, sa 2 na yon is the difference. Ibig sabihin, yung succeeding terms ay nakukuha by addition. So, ito, kapag arithmetic sequence, ang pinag-uusapan, yung succeeding terms or yung next terms are being obtained by addition. Okay? So, succeeding terms are being obtained by addition. Kapag ka-arithmetic. Okay? Next one, we have this one. Para makita nyo na kagad kung anong kaibahan ni arithmetic at saka ni geometric. So, pagka sinabing arithmetic, I mean geometric guys, pagka tinignan natin itong um, sequence na geometric, so yung 1, it became 3. After 3, naging 9. Yung 9, naging 27. 27 become 81. So, basically, nakita na natin doon yung pattern niya. Na multiply siya sa 3, kada number. So, yung 1 na multiply by 3, kaya naging 3. Yung 3 times 3, naging 9. 9 times 3, 27. 27 times 3, 81. So, ang tawag doon, guys, is ratio. Okay? Ibig sabihin, succeeding terms, succeeding terms are being obtained, obtained by multiplication. So, yun ang kanilang difference ni arithmetic at saka ni geometric. Naintindihan? So, pag sinabing arithmetic, yung mga susunod na term or yung succeeding terms, they will be obtained by addition or adding the common difference. While geometric sequence, um, na-obtain yung ating susunod na term or succeeding term by multiplying the common ratio. So, that is the difference. Kaya pag arithmetic sequence, meron tayong tinatawag na common difference. Kapag ka geometric sequence, meron tayong tinatawag na common ratio. So, yun ang kanilang difference. Okay? So, in this video, we will be discussing arithmetic sequence and series. Okay? So, ang ating um, formula for arithmetic sequence and series are these two. So, ito yung pagkuha ng a sub n. Again, anong kaibahan ni a sub, kunyari lang, a sub 4 at saka ni a sub 4. Ibig sabihin ng a sub 4, that is the fourth term. Ibig sabihin, yan yung ikaapat na number sa given sequence. Pag sinabing a sub 4, sum yan ng a1, a2, plus a2, plus a3, tsaka a4. Yun ang kaibahan nila. Okay? Ito sum, ito n term. Okay? So, ito guys, yung gagamitin nyo to get the n term of a sequence, arithmetic sequence, ito naman yung sum of n terms. Ayan. So, pwedeng sum of three terms, depende. Okay? So, let us have the first example. Find the 18th term of the arithmetic sequence, 2, 10, 18, 26. Okay? The first um, thing to do is, uh, to get the given. So, ang given natin dito, guys, a sub 1. Ibig sabihin na a sub 1, yung first number. So, that is 2. Ayan, given siya. And then, yung ating um, difference. So, tingnan nyo lang. Since arithmetic naman, sinabi na arithmetic. So, ibig sabihin may difference. So, pag sinabi natin difference, yung number na ina-add sa kada um, term para makuha yung susunod na term. So, itong 2 naging 10, yung 10 naging 18, yung 18 naging 26. So, basically, kahit hindi nyo na yan isolve, alam nyo na nag-increase siya by 8. Okay? So, nag-increase na, nag siya by 8. And then, the next one, 
would be um, yung letter N. So, yung letter N natin, guys, depende ko anong hihingi. So, pag sinabing find the 18th term, therefore, ang N nyo ay 18. Okay? And then, sabi dyan, find the 18th term. So, nth term ang hinahanap, not the sum of 18 terms. So, ang hinahanap dito, guys, ay A sub 18. Okay? So, to get the value of that, we will use A sub 1 plus N minus 1 multiplied by D. So, lagyan nyo na lang dito ng maliit na dot to represent multiplication. So, A sub 1 is 2. Salpak lang yung mga values. And then, N natin is 18 minus 1 multiplied by 8, which is the common difference. And then, para mas mabilis tayo guys, you get your calculator. And then, kopyahin nyo siya as is. So, 2 plus 18 minus 1, okay, multiplied by 8. Ayan. So, 138. So, 138. So, that would be your final answer. Meaning, ang 18th term in this sequence is 138. Ibig sabihin yung ika-80 na number. Kasi ito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th number lang. Ay, hindi. 1, 2, 3, 4th number lang ang given. So, ibig sabihin yung pagka nagtuloy-tuloy ka pa hanggang makarating ka sa 18th term, ito ang lalabas sa 18th term. 138. Okay? Let's have number 2. Find the 52nd term of the arithmetic sequence, 2, 10, 18, 26, and so on. So, ang ating N dito, since we are looking for the 52nd term, so, ang N natin ay 52. Okay? Guys, yung N nyo, nagdetepende yan sa hinahanap. So, yung N natin dito, 52. Dito, 18 yung N. Kasi 18th term. Okay? And then, ang A sub 1, still the same, 2. And then, ang difference is 8. Okay? Now, ang hinahanap, find the 52nd term. So, yung pang 52 daw na term. So, walang sinabing sum. So, ang hinahanap, A sub 52. So, we will have this formula again. So, A sub 1 is 2 plus N minus 1. So, 52 minus 1 times yung difference na 8. Okay? So, Ayan, you get your calculator. Actually, same given lang yan. So, babaguhin ko lang yung N dito. Kasi kanina yung 18 term yung hinahanap. So, ngayon 52. So, baguhin ko lang ng 52 yan. So, 410. Ayan. So, the 52nd term is 410. Okay, let's have number 3. Find the sum of the first 3 terms of the arithmetic sequence. 2, 10, 18. Actually, the same with this. Diba? Same yung given. Kaya ang A sub 1 natin is 2. Ang D natin ay 8. But, in this case... Sum down of the first three terms. So, three, sinabi yung word na three yung hinahanap. So, ang in natin ay three. Okay? And then, sabi dyan, guys, find the sum. So, pag sinabi nating sum, ang hinahanap doon ay S sub 3. Okay? So, S sub 3, ang formula niyan ay this one. So, N over 2. Okay? N over 2 multiplied by A1 plus A sub N. Okay? Actually, dito sa S sub 3 na to, madali na lang kuhain kasi ito yung sum ng first three terms, di ba? Pero ang gawin, I uh, mean, sige, kunin muna natin. Tapos, tignan natin kung tama itong ating formula. Okay? So, add na natin 2 plus 10 plus 18. So, ayan na yun. Yan yung sagot. Kasi sabi, sum of the first three terms. So, basically, you will add this first three terms. So, you will get 30 pag in-add nyo yan. Ngayon, let us identify it using the formula. So, ang n natin, ito, 3. So, magiging 3 over 2 times a sub 1 is 2. Plus, ano ba yung a sub n? Diba sabi ko, lahat ng n, papalitan nyo ng 3. Kasi we are looking for the um, sum of the third term. I mean, 3 terms. So, a sub 3 natin, ayan, yung a sub n, is, ano ba yung pangatlo? 18. Ayan, so 18. So, lagay ko rito, plus 18. And then, salpak sa formula. Guys, kapag ka nagpa-fraction kayo, do not use the division here. Ang gamitin nyo palagi ito. Kasi magkakamali kayo kapag ka division ang ginamit. Okay? So, 2 plus 18. Ayan. So, the answer should be the same. Ayan, 30. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, guys, you can either use yung calculator, I mean, yung formula or this one. In this case, magagamit nyo talaga na addition lang. Add nyo lang ito kasi madali lang naman. First three terms. Pero what about, halimbawa, sum of the first 50 terms. So, yung mga ganong example, hindi nyo na magagamit yung mano-mano na i-add nyo siya. I-add nyo siya, diba? So, gagamit kayo talaga kayo ng formula. In this case, madali lang naman kasi first three terms, kaya nakuha natin kagad. Okay? But then, the same pa rin siya dito sa ginawa natin. Okay, let's have the last um, five examples regarding um, arithmetic sequence. So, find the sum of the first 25 terms in the arithmetic sequence 2, 10, 18, 26. So, again, ang A sub 1 natin is 2. And then, um, difference natin is 8. So, nag-increase siya by 8. And then, um, and natin, since we are looking for 20, um, sum of the first 25 terms, so 25. So, ang hinahanap natin dito, sum. Once na nabasa nyo na yung word na sum, guys, ang gagawin nyo is S sub 25 na yun, ang hinahanap. Okay? So, ang formula is N over 2 
multiplied by a sub 1 plus a sub n. So, s sub 25, okay, papalitan ko na yung mga values. So, n is 25 over 2 times a sub 1 is 2, ito yun. Okay, ito yun, yung first term. Plus, a sub n, syempre pag pinalitan ko yung n, a sub 25. Okay, wala tayong value ng a sub 25. Hindi natin alam kung ano yung 25th term. So, ang gagawin natin, <clears throat> hahanapin muna natin with the use of the other formula, which is a sub 25. Okay, so a sub 25 is equal to a formula a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Diba? Yan yung formula. So, a sub 1 is 2 plus n minus 1. So, 25 pa rin yung n minus 1 times yung difference na 8. Ayan. Okay, so a sub 25 so, salpak lang muna sa calc, you guys. Ayan. To get the a sub 25. So, 2 plus, okay, 25 minus 1 times yung difference na 8. Na 19. Okay? So, 19. Tama ba? Ay, sorry. May mali ako. Wala akong parenthesis dito. Ayan. So, the answer is 194 pala. Okay? So, 194. Ngayon, na meron na tayong a sub 25, pwede ko nang palitan to guys. So, palitan ko na itong a sub 25 ng 194. Gets? So, ayan. Tapos, saka nyo siya, i-input sa calc -U. So, we will have 25 over 2. Ayan. And then, 2 plus 194. Copy lang talaga. So, 2,450. Okay? So, 2,450. So, that is the sum or pagka inilist nyo yung unang 25 na numbers tapos in nyo sila this one would be your answer. Ito guys, yung pang 25 na number. Ibig sabihin, matapos yung ilist hanggang um, 25th term, ito yung lalabas sa 25th term. Ito, iba to. Ibig sabihin niyan, yung sum niyan, simula dito sa 2 hanggang dun sa pang 25th number, which is 194. Ito si A sub 25. Ito kasi A, si A sub 1. So, pag inad mo yan, mula A sub 1 hanggang A sub 25, this one would be your answer. So, yun yung nahanap dito. Kaya ito yung ating final answer. Okay? Now, if you may ask me, Baka, paano to ini-input sa calc na walang fraction? So, ganun pa rin, guys. Pindutin nyo pa rin yung um, 25. Ayan. Tapos, pindutin yung ABC. So, lalabas pa ganito. So, 25 over 2. And then, dire-diretso na. Ayan. Huwag na huwag kayong gagamit ng divide para sa mga fraction. Okay? Kasi magkakamali. So, pag pindut nyo yan, equals, ayan. Alabas to. The same. Okay? Sige, let's have number 5. Find the sum of the first 24 terms of the arithmetic sequence in which A sub 1 is 6 and A sub 24 is 109. So, nagbigay siya ng A sub 1 tsaka A sub 24. So, find the sum daw of the first 24 terms. That's why ang N natin dito ay 24. Kung ano yung nahanap guys, yun yung N nyo. Okay? Katulad dito, hinanap 25 kaya ang N natin 25. Okay? So, since we are looking for the sum, so S tayo, S sub 24. Okay, so n over 2 multiplied by a1 plus a2. Ay, sorry, a n. Okay, so papalitan natin lahat ng values ng n ng 24. Kasi pang 24 yung hinahanap. I mean, sum ng first 24. So, 24 over 2 times a1 natin. Ito binigay, 6 plus, ba? ito magiging a sub 24. Kasi pag pinalitan ko to ng n, ang n natin 24, so a sub 24, which is given. Ito, 109. Kaya plus 109 here. Okay? So, S sub 24, ayan. So, salpak na natin sa calc 24. Okay, divided by 2 or over 2. Okay, times 6 plus 109. Ayan. So, the answer is 1380. So, the final answer is this one. Ayan na yun, guys. Okay? 1380. Okay, let's have number 6. Find the sum of the first 21 terms of the arithmetic sequence in which A1 is 100 and D is equal to negative 2. So, nagbigay siya ng A1 na 100 and D na negative 2. Tapos, sabi niya, find the sum daw of the first 21 terms. Therefore, ang N natin ay 21. Tapos, sabi niya, sum, that's why we are looking for the S sub 21. So, N over 2, so ang N natin ay 21 over 2 times A sub 1 binigay niya, 100, okay, plus Ano yung a sub n natin? Ang a sub n natin, since ang n natin ay 21, a sub 21. Wala siyang binigay na a sub 21. So, ang gagawin nyo, hanapin muna si a sub 21 with the use of this formula. Okay? So, a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, a sub 1 is 100. Okay? Plus, yung n natin, 21 pa rin. Okay? Minus 1 times yung d natin na negative 2. So, times um, negative 2. Ayan. Okay? Guys, kapag ka may mga negative na number, you always put parenthesis sa gilid, sa magkabilang gilid, lalo na kung may exponent yan. 
Dapat may parenthesis yan. Okay? Times negative 2. Ayan. Okay? So, 60. That is our 21st term. Pero hindi yan yung sagot kasi ang hinahanap, sum of the first 21 terms. So, papalitan ko na to ng 100. Ito, ito na siya. Okay? So, plus 60. And then, hanapin na natin yung sagot. Ayan. So, 21 over um, 2. 100 plus 60. Ayan. Okay, so 1680. So 1680. So this one is the sum of the first 21 terms. Okay, let's have number 7. Find the 22nd term of the arithmetic progression, 17, 12, 7, 2, and so on. Okay, so ang ating a sub 1 dito ay 17 or yung first term. <clears throat> and then ang ating um, n or yung hinahanap is 22. Okay, now the difference is, guys, malalaman nyo na negative ang difference kapag ka sa arithmetic sequence, pababa siya. As you can see, yung 17 naging 12. Ibig sabihin, instead na nag-increase siya, ang nangyari, nag-decrease siya. Ibig sabihin, nadagdagan siya ng negative na number. So, ang magiging difference nyo ay negative. So, yun ang magiging clue nyo. Kapag ka sa arithmetic um, sequence, pag pababa na ang number, ibig sabihin nun, negative ang inyong difference. So, in this case, nag-decrease siya ng 5. That's why, ang ating difference ay negative 5. Yung 12 naging 7, so nag-minus na naman ng 5. Yung 7 naging 2, nag-minus na naman ng 5. Okay? So, dito guys, actually, ma'am, sabi mo kanina, na-obtain siya by addition. By addition pa rin, kasi pag in nyo pa rin naman yan, guys, pag in nyo pa rin, halimbawa, ayan, 17, di ba? Yung first term natin. 17 plus negative 5, so 12. Yun, kasi guys, positive times negative is negative. Kaya sinabi kong nag-decrease siya. Kasi yung ating common difference ay negative. Pero basically, addition pa rin siya. Okay? Yun nga lang, negative yung ating D. That's why, nagde-decrease. So, para malaman nyo na negative yung inyong difference sa arithmetic sequence, pababa siya. Laging pababa yung number. Okay? So, ayan ako na natin yung D. So, ang hinahanap dito, find the 22nd term. Walang sinabing sum. So, kung walang sinabing sum, ibig sabihin, ang pinapahanap sa atin is just the 22nd term or A sub 22 or yung pang 22 na number. So, a sub 22, formula is a sub 1, yan, 17, plus n minus 1, yung n natin, 22, minus 1, times yung difference na negative 5. You always put parenthesis pag negative yung pinapalit yung number. Okay? So, 17 plus 22 minus 1, multiplied by negative 5, ayan, so, equals negative 88. So, the final answer is negative 88. So, ibig sabihin, yung, ipang, yung pang 22 na number dito sa sequence na to is negative 88. Negative talaga siya guys kasi pababa na siya eh. Actually, yung susunod dito would be negative 3 na. Kasi diba, 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So, pababa na yan to negative infinity. That's why, natural lang na ang sagot natin ay negative. Okay, let's have the last example of the arithmetic sequence. So, find the sum of the first 50 terms of the arithmetic progression, 17, 12, 7, 2, and so on. So, again, ang A1 natin dito ay 17 or first term. N natin na iba, ayan, 50 na, yung N, yun yung hinahanap. Difference is negative 5, ayan, bumaba siya ng negative 5. And then, ang hinahanap, sum of the first 50 terms. So, pag sinabing sum, that is S sub 50. Okay? So, formula is n over 2 multiplied by a sub 1 plus a sub n. At ang a sub n natin, then ang n natin, 50. So, a sub 50. Again, wala tayong, um, ano dito, value ng a sub 50. So, what will you do? Kunin muna natin si a sub 50. Okay? So, a sub 50, gamitin natin tong formula na to. So, a sub 1, 17 plus n minus 1. So, yung n natin, 50 minus 1 times yung difference na negative 5. Okay? So, kunin muna natin kasi wala tayong masasalpak dito sa A sub 50. So, papalitan ko lang to guys kasi parehas lang sila ng given. Ito lang yung N lang nagkaiba. Ayan. So, 17 plus 50 minus 1 multiplied by negative 5. So, negative 2 to 8. Yan yung ating A sub 50. Ibig sabihin, yan yung 50th term. Ay, hindi yan yung sagot. Hindi pa yan yung sagot. Okay? So, salpak na natin dito sa formula. Nakuha na natin. So, S sub 50 is equal to, so ang N natin, 50 over 2. Times a sub 1 is 17, okay, plus, okay, so plus, so ang ating a sub 50 ay negative, so that's why I will put multiply, I mean plus negative 2 to 8, ayan, okay? So guys, tandaan nyo lang, na kapag ka negative na ang pinag-uusapan ng number, tapos sinasubstitute nyo siya sa 
um, formula, you always put parenthesis sa gilid niya. Lalo na kung negative, guys. Lalo na kung may exponent. Kasi kailangan niya ng negative. I mean, ng parenthesis. Okay? So, 2 to 8, tapos may dalawang parenthesis doon. Ito, guys, yung in ko para dito sa R. I mean, para dito sa 50th um, term na to. Ito, yung A sub 50. Okay? Nilagyan ko ng another set of parenthesis. Okay? So, pag equals natin, negative 5, 2, 7, 5. So, negative 5, 2, 7, 5. So, this is the sum of the first 50 terms in this arithmetic progression or arithmetic sequence. Okay? So, that is it for the arithmetic sequence. So, yung next video naman natin is about geometric sequence.